time unloading into scammels. We've just brought this shipping container down from the Gold Coast and now we can't even open it. It's just arrived and it's full of stock that we're going to send to auction. This is going to be to weigh all the money. We'll hopefully be this heavy after we get rid of all this stuff. Oh. There's one. But the problem is, see, oh, lucky it didn't Probably. get scratched up. But That's flea market sellers in Queensland are making full-time living selling at the flea markets because they're able to get this volume of stock from the op shop staff. Early bushels. Yep. Always good. Put your name down, make some contacts, bring some coffees in, and you'll be surprised at what you can get to. Where are we putting it all, Timmy? Thrift shops get so much donated, they just need to keep moving it. So they like working with dealers, and they're happy to share the profits with you. You ready? Is it gonna open? Imagine if everything's like falling up against it. Look, it has, look. That's what's happened. Yep, so you can't open it. We got the first box. So far. Look, has it destroyed things? I don't know. It doesn't have a price oh. on it. We bought that for four dollars in our other videos. If you haven't seen them, be sure to head over there and check them out. All cameras and bits and pieces, and that's yeah. just how we've stacked every single container in here. And I think there's about 350. We can't actually get that open. What are we doing, Blake? I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go like this just to grab things at a time. That's a gun case. We got a outboard. Should I keep that for our little kayak? Nah. No? Nah. Put a battery on it? I don't need it. Well, that was worth 60 bucks. I've got the other two in here somewhere as well. See this box of Lego, Blake? All right, that there is one of about 60 that we have in Queensland still, but we couldn't fit any more in. So I think a few more pods later, we might get it all to auction. Do you know what that is? Nope. It's a detonator. That's what they use to oh, put nice. the electrodes and then go yep. um, Sweet. Well, maybe if we make a start like this we might get, get stuff out eventually. i don't even know oh look there's all comics i've comics. got thousands of them we've nice. got heaps of tubs of comics as well how's it going blake we've got one section done we've got oh, all sorts of trading cards in there more collectibles more trading cards we've got the old scooter and uh, a lot more pods to go. Oh, is that going to break the tub? Hold on, I think I might get this one. Just put it in. Hey? What's going on there? Oh. Are you into oh. Furbies? I brought one tub down so we can see how they go. A few Furbies. I pulled that out here. I reckon that's kind of cool. These are all Lego instructions. Oops. What's in there? Look at all the old tin toys and more collectibles, I think that's another sword. We haven't even gotten into the container yet, and this is as much as we pulled out. <laughs> Stay tuned to watch us unbox the rest. Finally got it open. But Look at stuff. this. I stuffed up the box, the Motu oh, tower box. Put a hole in it. Yeah, and look at this. Oh, no. Look, the weight. I think we've got to put the fuller, heavier boxes on the bottom for the next trip. Something's crushed. <laughs> but I'm going to need you to hold this so that I can grab box by box, Blake. All right. All right. Let Thanks. me just show them what we pulled out. You can just stay there for a sec. So we pulled out whatever that is. A grill. Bunch of pots and stuff. Some of that. Had a chair. Look at all this, actually. Blake, check this out. This is all foot trot flat books. Foot trot flat. Yeah. All of that, all the way through. Goosebumps, Goosebumps. books. You know what this is, Blake? This is a dart gun. So you put the darts in here and you... Oh. Did it have anything in it? No. <laughs> cool. Bits and pieces all the way through. Yeah. These um, have all been in our other videos, so if you haven't checked them out, guys, what we do is we treasure hunt. We buy low to sell high, follow the journey, and you too can. You can too. This is um, in one of my garage sale videos that Some I did. Motor. It's a plumber's inspection kit. I bought that at a garage sale for $70. They sell for six and a half thousand dollars. What will I get for it here? Follow the journey and find out. The thing is, on the Gold Coast, the recycling centers, the tip shops, they have a sales area. So anything that's too good that people don't want to throw away, they can donate. There's three shops within 15 kilometers of each other and they get 60 tons of donations each week 
each shop. So they sell That's everything crazy. ridiculously cheap. It doesn't mm. matter what the frame is, 10 bucks. Lawnmowers, 10 to 20 bucks. This Weber Q I got for $50. This is a, a laser kit. And you buy these at the tip shops and they're like 20 bucks. They just give everything away because of the amount of volume that they get every single week. If you're ever looking to be a reseller, go to the Gold Coast. You will be surprised at the volume of quality items they have. They have flea market sellers that have contacts with local op shops that sell like hundreds of grams of gold. You'll see so much stuff up there, it's out of control. Do you know the in here? It, it's, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it is. It's wrapped up on the side, on the left. There's a yep. Prohan at David Hart, they're wrapped. I hope they're gonna have room. Scammels Auctions here, they have three different sections. They've got a motoring and collectible section. They have a smalls and antiques section, and then they have a furniture section as well. They also do specialty auctions. So for example, they do high-end art and luxury, antiques and equities, and then the car and petrolania items. All the garage and alia collectibles do really, really well here. Um, we've got tubs and tubs and tubs. So it's gonna probably take them a number of auctions to get through all this. For example, look at these cards, Blake. I've got at least another few hundred 4,000 count boxes of cards and they go all the way through. So we're going to send another pod through as well. Be sure to follow the journey to see what we get and what the auction results are going to be like in relation to putting it all through in bulk lots, getting your money, having that opportunity to go out and spend that time buying and sourcing more items versus dealing with the end consumer and doing the sales side. We do high volume turnover. We buy big, we sell through auction. We're out on the road buying seven days a week and we can do that because we just keep getting the cash flow coming back in while others are selling on our behalf. Those are pretty cool, I like those. Blake, I need your hand, box mate. <laughs> I moved this box and the car, <laughs> I'm stuck. And there is just a sort of stuff. What we tried to do was fill most of the boxes so there's bits and pieces of stuff everywhere. But um, Blade it's all, there. look, here's another box That's of tin nice toys. Blade. Yeah. Um, keep breaking more them all. Yeah. Scammer's going to be having such a big, diverse variety of amazing, rare collectibles because on the Gold Coast you can find them every single day of the week. We've also put out just a box full of beetle stuff. You know, this box full of tea towels. You know. This guy's got yeah, everything. Yeah, actually, do you know, there's a guy that's opened up a shop um, in the Gold Coast. He's now got 20 employees, five shops because of the volume of stock that he keeps coming by. Uh, the problem is, because everyone buys cheap on the Gold Coast, you need to sell it cheap too. So we send it to Adelaide, where we get five times higher prices than what they can achieve on the Gold Coast. Apple iPod. Oh, look at this. Uh, some reproduction some signs. signs. All sorts of bits and pieces. What's that one? That's, a, that's not a reproduction, that's an early one. Uh, they're actually copper diving boots and antique. Nice. What's in here? Have a look. Oh, that's oh, that's a the metal thing. I think statue. That's the 30s. I actually did a video of a private estate. Apparently, they were uh, royal descendants. So there's a lot of nice stuff in there as well. Um, yeah. I mean, even music books, books. That'll just be one lot. I'm not into uh, books, but I can't even show you some of those because of censorship. But some of those are actually desirable. They're all war, war books and glippy. Um, I don't even know. What's this? What do we got in here? They're all old Packs playing cards, cards yeah. ACDC, etc. Nice. Um, and then I think they're all toy cars. We got some old retro mid-century egg chairs. Uh, more Motu Masters of the Universe original yeah. towers. We got a lot of a lot of toys. I think we've got probably 60 boxes like this full of toys. So a lot more to come, guys. You, uh, you want to be sure to stick through to the end to see what we've got at the back of the container though, I can tell you that. Stuff scattered all the way through because I just had to try and fit it any way I could. Timmy, you want this over there or over there? They've got different sections, it. so it all goes where it goes. More toys, they're actually beautiful. Those um, candelabras should be about $150. Oh, we have so many early posters scattered through. I don't even know all the posters that we've got because of the amount we've got. I've still got dozens of rolls of these. I need to make some videos. I've got a lot of early ones from bands. Um, a lot of different scattered art throughout. A lot of petrol signs. It's just, I mean, even ores sell well here. 
there is so much value in so many things that you otherwise wouldn't consider. I've learned, most of what I've learned has been through watching auction houses and learning what sells and how much it sells for in order to get an idea on what I can possibly achieve. That's KISS when I'm buying things so I know not to pay too much because I know what they're going to sell for. Rule of thumb from what the auctions have been achieving week by week. So there's a lot of variety of items. So I'm sure that you'll find something amongst it all. Be sure to check out Scamble's auctions every week. Mondays, they start their auction 9 a.m. and they go till they're finished for that day. Just all four of my kids, they didn't have the cash. He just always pushed I've us. got a video of him to show that he's actually done some work. <laughs> Good work, Blake. <laughs> We've also got, if you haven't seen, I've taken See these boxes? We put everything in these boxes, and I reckon I've taken 400 minimum boxes to other auction houses, and they're just full of die-cast cars, retro computer games, uh, cameras. He just fills them with absolutely anything he can yeah. <laughs> We have been buying so much because there is so much to buy up there. James Bond cars, Batman cars, we got lots of corgi, lots of dinky, lots of oh, red lines. Cool. That man, yep. so. Um, all ones. the way One through. Check these out though, some of these One are pre-war. These flat lead boats are really early. Yeah, and nice. see, that's how they used to make them. I can't even remember what we put in here, son. Like, I've even got old photos of World War Two. There's some cast iron bits, more signs. In the bags. Oh, I don't even don't know. Even, yeah, we don't wait. have time because we've only unloaded a quarter of this container yet. We've got a lot more to go. I think this is all that stuff we've got to put with that storage unit that we um, pulled out. So that goes, oh, so is this. This is from there. that drover who, he was actually a grave digger in the 1950s. He was born in 1922. We're gonna have a lot of his stuff that's gonna go in auction. He was an author. I've got a lot of his original publications before they went to print. Um, but these are the boxes I was telling you about that we've got hundreds of the 4,000 count boxes of all the different yep. types of trading cards. So they're all uh, scattered away through as well. Oh, what's in here? Look, more cards. Just full of trading cards. There's an old umbrella stand. We've got portable typewriters. I think we've got all the different types of colors. What's that? That's a plain one. What's this one here? Ugh. I think, there we go, we got a yellow, I think it's an Adler. Um, but we'll keep going and show you bits and pieces that's gonna come up for auctions here at Scammels. Do you know what you're looking at? Nope. That's an old watch maker's clock, watch shop clock. Jeweler, well it's a jeweler's clock. And no, that, that's Castro. Yeah, that's a Castro clock. That was in one of our private picks that we did, mate. Those chairs can be worth thousands of dollars. And we've got, what's in here? Oh, they're all of those little meerkats. I got these at a garage sale pick off a lady and I paid like $10 a piece. Heaps more tins of toys and you never find them with the original boxes. So they're all scattered through. I think, look at all the containers. I've, <laughs> I've not left them in the best shape. Some old masks. Like why, the, why would I buy masks? That's just stupid, Danny. Oh, that's a seagull motor. What's that? Oh, they're old magazines and photo albums. Oh, these are all the records. We've got two, four, eight, ten. I don't know how many boxes of records we've got. Oh, that one's fallen in on the records. Hopefully that hasn't damaged them. Probably all my Rolling Stones box. Acoustic electric guitar. That's a really nice electric one in there. I don't even know what's in here, these boys. We had a Third load of records. crash. I hope my frames haven't all smashed from yeah. that. Oi, there we go. There you go. Merry Christmas. I don't even remember what's in there myself. Scammels, petrol, there's Adrian, the man himself that auctions it all. RAC uh, badge. There's bits of, what? they must be down the bottom. Some coits. Where are the oil bottles? It said oil bottles. Maybe it was just a tease. Now there's oil bottles. Oh look, there's a sign. There's signs, oil bottles, a mammoth, wicked. Oh yeah, yep. down the bottom. Down there the we bottom. go. Oh look here, look what that what does that say? Right there. Esso! So there's more. Anything special, son? 
toys. Have you seen a lot of this before? Oh, these are all those vintage Brer horses, etc. There's a lot of those that are actually worth hundreds of dollars. Oh, look at that. That's a cool polar bear. Uh -huh. He's not worth a great, great deal of money. Um, there's more of those horses. Take that for me, buddy. Thank you. What's in this one? Uh, it's, this is the start of the action figures, I think. They're all, that's just Kiss. All of that is Kiss stuff. What's in this? Heavy Disney tiles. Oh, all of those are Disney tiles. The whole box. They're pretty cool. But if you haven't seen my other videos, guys, be sure to check them out. I bought all of them from a lady, sight unseen. She said, there's 140 Jim Beam decanters in amongst those boxes. I want $10 each. I said, deal. Follow the journey to see how much we get here at Scammers Auctions. Am I boring you, son? He said my videos go too long. And so he's unpacking this container. In order to finish getting through all this, we're going to go as quick as we can. We've got boxes full of tins. We've got boxes full of tools. I put photos up of all of this before we brought it here to Scummers Auctions. If you haven't seen my Instagram account, be sure to check that out. All the photos of what's in these tubs that's going to be going to auction is over there. If, for example, you tell me you collect wood planes, I'll send you a photo. You have an opportunity to buy it before I take it to auction. I'll let Blake do the heavy lifting and Timmy's even joined in to help us get it all into the auctions now. Antique items, a lot of LaCroix. They're heavy, Blake. Yeah, look at all those. This is another one for the petrol auction. <clears throat> so that'll go in the man cave collectibles. But how organized is she with all these? Jim Beam decanters. She's labored them all. Some of them are still full. And they're all what they used to put scotch whiskey in. Do you know, I found the other piece of that and I thought it's rubbish, so I threw it away and then I found this piece. <laughs> are they good because they're full or are they good because they're rare? <laughs> if they're full, they're going to be... Uh, Drunk. They're going to be even better. <laughs> they're old shooting sticks. More enamel pots and clocks and kitchenware. What's in there? All old tins. His microphone went flat. We started using microphones. Tell us if it's better in the audio in the comments below. Oh, what's here? More oil tops. Is that a bottle there? That's an oil bottle as well. Yeah. Um, so some of that stuff will leave for over the other side. Oh, look, there's a tin top. There's a few tin tops in there. Oh, look, it's a little fly zone in there. Watch out. We've got a few of those floating around too. What's in that one? More tins. What? You want me to work? How does that work? Oh, this is bloody heavy as well. What's, I can't Comics. see you. Oh yeah, Mad Magazine. Mad magazine. That's, that's mad, Timmy. That's mad. More m &Ms. See, some of those, uh, I've seen sell $400 each on eBay, the box ones, it's crazy. Actually, I'm gonna ask you, Timmy, straight up. I was offered 1200 bucks for all of the m ms dispensers, right? Yep. Do you reckon I'll get that here? <laughs> I don't think I will, I think I should've well, taken the 1200. I reckon, I reckon probably, probably 1200 would've been a good deal. I think I should've taken the offer. I was greedy because I saw three that were 1200 on eBay, but I'm not an eBay seller, so I should have just sold the lot for 1200 bucks. But still, it is what it is. We'll give it a crack. We'll see. Follow and see what we get. Oh. Oh, uh, it's all scattered. Oh. There's one. But the problem is, see, oh, lucky it didn't oh, get scratched up, but. That's quite a, that's quite a good money. Yeah, there's. Oh, that one's bent. Here, this one's alright, but did that make it without being scratched? Yeah. Yeah, it's that, made it without being scratched. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look, that's a gone fleece one, that big one. Yeah. So, a few bits and pieces. That's some cool stuff, man. Um, on the Gold Coast, if you ask op shop staff to set stuff aside for you, they're more than willing to because they need to move the amount of volume of stock that they keep getting donated. Watch out, Blake. Spider. There's a spider. Oh, I didn't even flinch. I didn't even flinch. What's up here? This is all more sewing stuff. I, I think I had about 30 bloody sewing machines and we've even got a triple two K singer, which I think about 800 bucks. I bought that at a storage unit. Actually, I found that in a storage unit. Funny yeah, story I with that. that. I was there. We did a live video of a storage unit and the people's unit who it was, was watching us pull out all their like contents live. Things, it yeah. didn't end well. Five dollars you get for sewing machines in auction in Queensland because of the volume of sewing machines that they get on a weekly basis. So we brought them down here. We might get $10 down here. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid all this is going to keep falling. What's, I don't know. Oh, that, that's sewing accessories. But do you know, people sell these. I've got $15 on them because that's when I had the shop. People sell these on eBay for like $6 for one pair, but that'll probably be all one lot of sewing and craft. 
These are all Royal Dalton. I've got Swarovskis and all sorts in here as well. Oh, look, is that, oh, is that? No, they yeah, soda siphons. I thought that was more oil bottles because there is stuff scattered through. This was not fun loading either. And I, I think all my tubs are pretty much broken now. They call them totes in America. What's that? Oh, these are all those James Bond cars. We've got a few, uh, we've got a few boxes of those. Oh. All James Bond. Oh, more M&Ms. Oh, look, you can see the back wall, Blake. Yeah. So that's one bay. We've done nearly three bays. Almost done. That's cool. You can see some wood. <laughs> what have you found, Blake? Harry Potter books in that one. I'm assuming the same in there. But we'll more Two books. sets of Harry Potter books well, and the toys. Toys. Yep, they're all starting to come out now. Uh, we've got a few bikes as well, more prints and paintings. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it is. We've got West German pottery in here. We've got old copper pots, heaps of boxed action figures. Sitting down on the job like always. On your horse, Timmy. Oh, it's on your bike, isn't it? We've got plenty of bikes coming out. <laughs> yeah, off you go. That's the wheel for it. Watch out, that spring will come off. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Okay. Uh, we're getting there guys. We might have to wrap this video up there because of the time. We've got to be out of here in 15 minutes and we've still got to get all this out. So we might be running a little bit late. If you haven't seen what we've been picking up through all the flea markets, op shops, garage sales, uh, antique fairs, swap meets, private estates, we're out treasure hunting seven days a week. Yeah, they're all Dragon Ball Z. Look, we had so many of these. You really struggle to find good quality. Uh, everyone's got their networks and dealers that they deal with. So that's why you need to make contacts and ask questions. Finding stuff for other people is what I love doing. When other people find stuff for me, it's really only for me to sell it back to someone else. <laughs> My Little Ponies, that stuff sells at the flea market. I had a shop at the flea market for, how long do we have it, 12 months? And with the $5 item sell, you'd sell $5 items every day of the week. Oh, Blake, come here, Blake, Blake, Blake. This is falling, mate. <laughs> okay. This is why it takes longer because we need two people and we're filming. Oh, mate. <laughs> Help. Subscribe, hit that bell notification to start up to date with all the future content. Like, share with your mates, and we'll see you in the next video.